hi guys welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new here hi welcome if you aren't subscribed make sure to hit the little red button i would really really appreciate it so i thought i would close out this year with a video that i personally love watching and that is a favorites video so i thought i would share with you guys a couple of items products that i discovered or started using this year and i started using every day because i really love them and because we're closing out 2023 i thought it would be funny if i showed you 23 items it was a little bit difficult to narrow it down because i did have like 27 things in mind that i wanted to share with you guys but i think i narrowed it down to a pretty good list so i have separated them into different categories and then there's a few miscellaneous random things that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm going to make sure to link as many things as I can in the description box below. So if you guys are interested in trying anything out, make sure you check the description box below. So I'm going to start off with the hygiene category. And the very first thing that I got for this one is my favorite perfume. This is the Glossier U perfume. And I got this one towards the beginning of the year. I think like around march or april i had heard a couple of people talking about this perfume on tiktok maybe like in 2021 but i never got it and i was in the lookout for a new perfume so i decided why not try this one out i feel like i'm a little late to the game but i ended up falling in love with this one and i'm not even finished with it yet because i have been like saving it i've just been doing like very small amounts but i ended up getting the newer bigger size this one is 100 milliliters 3.4 flow ounces and the one that i have is 50 milliliters so it's half the size of this one and even though i haven't finished this one i got this one during the black friday sale i had to take advantage so this is a brand new one that i'm waiting to use but i really recommend the perfume it's my favorite and my sister got it too she feels like it smells different on her which is actually what i like because it's supposed to smell different on each person like depending on their skin so i thought that was really cool and then i actually pair this perfume with this next item on my list which is the sol de janeiro and shout out to my friend Alyssa who actually recommended this one to me she uses the light pink one but this one is the black amber plum and vanilla woods one which i think pairs really great with this perfume but in order to tie those smells in i start off with this product which is the amber fragrance oil by Nemet. so i have been hearing a lot of people say that in order for scents to last longer you have to start off with an oil so it kind of holds the scent in for a longer duration and i have been using this which i think actually smells a lot like the glossier perfume in a way so that's actually perfect how that worked out and i actually ended up getting a brand new one because this one is almost running out i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm like at the very end of this bottle so i took advantage when there was a sale and got a brand new one and the next thing on this category which is actually the last product is this deodorant so this is by the brand salt and stone and i actually bought this at one of the markets that i went to a few months ago they were selling different products but the deodorant stood out to me because i have been looking for a deodorant that will last a long time that's good for my sensitive skin because i am a little bit sensitive in my underarms and that was clean the most important thing for me is to find clean product and so i found that this product met all three criteria for me so i thought i would give it a try i was a little bit hesitant about purchasing it because it does cost 20 dollars but i definitely think it's worth it now let's jump into the next category which is going to be skincare so for those of you who have been watching my videos for quite some time or follow me on instagram then you guys know that i have been struggling with acne for quite some time now and i have stuck with the same products for a while just because i don't like to switch it up because i don't know how my skin will react but there are a few products on here that i actually started using this and i personally have found them to be great for my skin the first one are these mighty patch pimple patches by the brand hero so i started using these when i would get a pimple that felt like so many people could see it was just like in your face and i did not want it to be there but i know that it's not good to pop your pimples so i wanted to find something that would help with the inflammation of pimples and these have just really worked for me i know there's many other brands but i really recommend the ones by hero and i like getting them from amazon because they have greater value for the amount that you can get in a box then i have these two products by good molecules if you guys watched my last day in the life video i kind of showed you guys my nighttime skincare routine and i included these two 
So the first one is the Discoloration Correcting Serum. And I have noticed that since I started using this, it has helped with reducing the amount of dark spots that I have. And then the Hyaluronic Acid Serum has actually been great for dryness. My skin is a combination of both dry and oily, depending on the time of the year. For example, right now that it's winter, it's a little bit more dry. This has really helped with hydration and keeping it moisturized. And the last item in this category is actually something that I found on TikTok. And I know there's a lot of things that go viral on TikTok. Sometimes I don't even know what to purchase because there's so many things that people are raving about. But these are actually something that I wanted to try, which are these blemish pads by Metaheal. And they're actually a Korean skincare product, which I have found to really help with texture from the leftover acne that I dealt with. I feel like my skin has honestly become a lot smoother since using these. The only thing is that I could improve on being more consistent on using these, but from the times I've used it, it definitely has helped. And the next category is makeup. So I have been using the same products for quite a lot of time. I went through a period where I like branched out and I tried using high prestige foundations and like mascaras. But I feel like you can find great quality products at drugstores as well. So I don't think a product is better if it's worth more. So that's why I wanted to share a few drugstore makeup products as well as higher end products. The first one is this la girl pro conceal concealer and this one is actually for color correcting and i have it in the shade peach and i'm someone who deals with dark circles and so i kind of did some research into what would be best and so i found that color correcting would help with dark circles as well as like dark spots and i love how this product makes my under eyes look once i put concealer over it so i really recommend it now talking about concealer this has been one of the concealers that have become my favorite, which is the Hourglass one. This is the Vanish Airbrush Concealer, and I have it in the shade Fawn. And although this one is a little bit more pricey, I personally think it's worth it. Now, the next makeup product that I have really liked is actually a drugstore product, and this is the Wet n Wild Photo Finish Translucent Powder. So before this one, I was using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and it was good, but I have noticed that this one definitely helps with the creasing under my eyes my smile lines as well i don't notice them anymore and for the size it's also a great price and the last product down here is the hourglass lip balm so i recently tried this i got it maybe like three two weeks ago i have it in the shade haze and guys this is like a lip oil a lip balm it's like really buttery but it gives a very nice tint they have different shades Mine is more of like a reddish tone. It feels really smooth and it lasts a long time. So although it is, again, pricey, I think it's worth it. And I really want to try out different shades. I'm probably going to go buy a few soon. All right, now we're going to get into the hair category. But for hair products, I have this hair straightener, which I got not too long ago. This is by the brand Remington. And it is the Shine Therapy argan oil and keratin straightener and i've noticed that it definitely helps with the frizziness so i used to use another straightener which i felt like would make my hair pretty frizzy but as you guys can tell i just straightened my hair and i feel like my hair is extra smooth and it's not frizzy at all i got this one off of amazon and i think it's a really great price it's like a little over 40 dollars i was looking into other ones this one had great reviews it is a little bit wider so you're able to straighten more hair at once and then the other product that i have for this category is this little hair wand and i don't know how to pronounce this brand it's just like a very random brand and basically it's kind of like a mascara it has like the same type of wand but it is an oil to help with frizz i got this during the summer because i deal with a lot of frizziness and it works really well it actually comes in a two pack so i still have both i have one in my work purse for on the go and then i leave one here at home and i still have both so it has lasted me quite a while and the next category is nails so i'm not the type of person to go to the nail salon like every month and get my nails done i've honestly only gotten them done with someone twice maybe three times but i like painting my nails at home I, I don't really like having bare nails but i found that the regular nail polish that i was using would chip very 
quickly and it just wouldn't last so I would be paying emails like every three days which was getting annoying so I wanted to invest in something a little better and so I bought this Beatles gel polish nail kit so this kit comes with a uv light a regular gel base polish and then a gel and matte top coat and it also comes with this little bag which has different tools like a nail file and then the nail dividers um a nail clip so it comes with a base of what you need to do like a regular manicure and then you can purchase the color nail polishes from this brand separately but they usually sell them in sets so you'll get like so i have been doing my nails here at home so i think this is a great investment and then to strengthen my nails because they've always been pretty weak thin and would honestly break pretty quickly so my nails would never grow out too long i recently cut them which is why they're shorter at the moment but i bought this nail strengthener this is by the brand olive and june and you can get it at walmart or target but this has really helped my nails stay strong all right and this is the very last category everything else that i'm going to show you guys after this is miscellaneous and just random things i wanted to throw in here and share with you guys but this would be the travel category so the very first thing is this book bag which i actually got on amazon and there's so many different options for travel book bags on amazon i personally was looking for something that was more spacious but also have like different compartments and would not look bulky so like this one for example has some wiring around the top by the zippers it's like a little bit hard right here and so it doesn't bend or fold and i can pack so many things in here but it won't look like a huge book bag like the one i used to use which was just a regular school book bag it also has this charging port right here it has two sides for water bottles or just anything you want to throw here but i think what i really really like about this is that it has this little part right here which is actually really helpful because the purpose of it is to put it over your suitcase handle so you can just slip it right over the handle and it'll sit on top of your suitcase and the next travel item is this set of makeup travel containers so the box is a little ugly <laughs> it's from amazon so it has 10 pieces and basically it's these containers so there's different sizes this one has some leftover hair product but it has this very large size and then it goes down to this size and the smallest size is actually pretty tiny which although it's pretty tiny it still holds a lot of product it was definitely helpful for my trips this year and it also comes with these little like spatula spoon type of things which helps with scooping out product and then putting them in these containers all right we have made it down to the last five items on my list the next thing i want to talk to you guys about is actually a brand and it's this jewelry brand called caitlin minimalist you guys may have noticed that i use my name necklace in a lot of my videos which is this one right here and i actually got it from that brand and then i also got this bracelet with an e on it and then lastly my sister got me this necklace for christmas which has just an E. But if you're looking for a nice jewelry piece, I would recommend checking her out. This video is not sponsored by them. I would actually love to work with that brand. But yeah, I really love their products. But now moving on to the next thing. It is actually a gift that I received at the very beginning of the year by one of my best friends, Allison. And it's this journal by Jess Conti. If you guys don't know, Jess and Gabriel are actually my favorite YouTubers. And when she announced that she was going to come out with a journal, I knew I had to get it and apparently my friend did too because she ended up pre-ordering it for me and gave it for my birthday last year but it didn't come out until January this year. So it's actually a very very unique journal starting off with the cover. It's like this very nice material and it's separated into different categories. I don't know if you guys can tell but I think I'm like halfway so I'm excited to continue using it and finish it up. Now to go along with journaling or sketching i got these highlighters from the brand mr pen when i started doing my bible study a few months ago they're great to use on a bible because they're flat and so they have a flat end and they're just perfect for highlighting they're smooth on the page i actually got the recommendation from just conti so there you go and then the next thing on here which is actually jewelry so i should have showed you guys this 
after the necklaces but it is this eight piece ear cuff set from amazon now if you have sensitive ears like myself I can't use any fake jewelry and I have been wanting to get the cartilage piercing up here but I'm scared because I don't know how my ears will react to certain earrings so I started using these fake earrings so this is one of them and they have different designs this is like the chain one and I really like them I like how they look I think they look pretty realistic and I actually have gotten into the shower with these a few times by accident and they haven't rusted or anything even though they aren't real silver so yeah i would really recommend them if you have sensitive ears and i think we have gotten to the very last item i want to share with you guys which are actually a pair of shoes by the brand princess polly getting these black booties a few months ago and i have been using them for events they're super comfortable they have a pretty thick heel which makes them super comfortable and they're not too like narrow down here by your toes so they don't bother me at all and they honestly became my favorite pair of shoes this year so I'll make sure to have everything linked down below in case you want to check anything out I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and before we close out the video I wanted to thank you guys for the support that you showed on my videos and my channel this past year I have really enjoyed making videos I feel really excited for what's to come in 2024 in regards to my channel i wish you guys a healthy joyous and safe 2024 and i will see you guys in my next video bye